God, that's how we do You know that you're feeling it too you if it felt like Christmas. You did. Yeah, does it feel like one. Christmas again? It, it does. It's uh, Last time I think even our reference was maybe Christmas in July. Was it? Yeah, I, I, oh. I don't know. Um, but that seems like something I would say. Yeah. And uh, now it feels like Christmas in April. Right. That's right. But, but yeah, so, uh, you know, we're gonna crack it open. this thing here, so it might be a little, little noisy, but, uh, you know, I'll do my best with the audio. I'll no, try. No. Oh, that's, that is noisy. There we go. Is it like a can of soup? Do you just like go all the way around? You know, and what reason my head when we got this delivered? Wow. Is one of my our favorite Christmas movies. What? The Christmas Story. It's like oh, there could be anything <laughs> in here. It, it could be, 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 be a bowling alley. It could be a bowling alley. Well, at least the deed. I'm not gonna deliver a bowling alley. It's in the deed. Uh, you know, so yeah, so I imagine we're gonna dig into this. It's going to be filled with packing peanuts oh. and there's going to be a leg lamp. If there's a leg lamp, yes. that's excellent. <laughs> Getting close. Well, here we go. All right. Wait, do I have to help you get that off there? Though? No, I can get it off, but I'm going to see what I got as far as gloves because there's yes. staples, staples in there. Yes, safety you know, first. So. Trying to be responsible. You've moved well, from flip flops to socks with slides. That's good. Yeah, that's a step know, up. It's uh, it's good. It's my dad look. They're I not, like it. Uh, Birkenstocks or Crocs. Well, you have there's a couple time. years. Couple years. That's right. There's there's time. To... Please do black socks with the gold toe. Yeah, and shorts. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. You want to use oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this. 
What? Yeah, that's the canopy top. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, it's that's, like you could like sit in it. That's cool. It's like a gold wing Mercedes. That's, that's it makes it feel like we did something. Yeah. <laughs> like we built something that we did. Well, yeah, all we did was open the box. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, that looks I bet cool. that's what quick builders are slow or yeah, quick, yeah, builders, quick builders must feel like. They're yeah, like, they're like look at what I did. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now step back because I don't want you to get yep. homes as well. Oh, we had a so yes. not just subtractions, we have additions. Yes, yeah. So um I laid out in AutoCAD or CAD um some access panel plates. And uh, so I was just gonna buy raw aluminum from Vans to do it because yeah. you know it's cheap. And it's uh, they actually had some pre-formatted pieces that were even cheaper than having them do a custom cut. So I threw some pieces in, and we'll actually we'll video that on the CNC. Oh, sweet! Cutting out those panels. So I already got it all laid out and everything. So we just gotta find the metal and lay it out, and we can okay make another. Those. Yeah, that'll yeah. be cool. I think people will like to see that. So there are companies that make those, but uh, you know we got the tools to do it ourselves, and uh, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> and a lot more fun. I gotta say, I am definitely impressed with uh, creating of this. Yeah, this is good. They, this is this is really good. Good packaging, because as a seven, we never had any box like this. No, well, I mean, I got to imagine that the quick builds are probably boxed. Similarly, similarly yeah. If somebody has quick build parts, they should comment about their packaging. Yeah. I can't imagine trying to get that off the truck. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Tell us about that, too. Like. Who delivered it and <laughs> did it did you have to get involved and risk your your own safety? <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment, so there was part of the video, I had to put the phone down. And there was a moment where Rob was about to bear the weight of the five hundred pound box. Yes. And I said, Do not do not put yourself in harm's way because that's what this is on the shipper to deliver correctly not our fault and there that's why there's insurance like please do not break a foot or your whole body <laughs> right on this that's not thankfully we are handy enough to help the driver otherwise it was not, it would not have happened no all by he was one person one guy in such a big box and, and the lift gate was not great right and so he was scratching his head on how to even fit it onto the lift gate, and it was sketchy. It was. And then yeah, thankfully we were there to be extra hands. So it, make sure you have people and maybe what, a couple of those. It's not a creeper, but what's it called? Uh, that's just like a cart, like a you know, four wheel cart have one or a couple of those if you can and yeah. a, we used a furniture dolly to help prop it up Hoisted for him everything. because was, and that was partly because he was one guy yeah i will say um you know obviously caveat <laughs> clearly zero endorsement uh at first i was a little nervous we haven't had anything delivered with uh this was roadrunner freight that delivered this and uh their website you know the updates weren't really fresh but they did a really great job. There was zero damage. Right. And we learned after the fact that there's a subsidiary company that from the parent, that's who Vans uses, and then there's a subsidiary. So that's why the website. There was a handoff. That's why there was a handoff. But they did really, really great. So super excited. Driver was really nice, helpful, despite, you know, being he concerned about He was put in a position, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it was good. Yeah. It's kind of like the, as long as it lands, it's a good landing. Yeah, yeah, as long as, <laughs> as long as the box wasn't damaged, it was a good delivery. Good delivery, that's right. Well, 
there she be. I can't wait for the line item. Is it like canopy? One. Yeah, one. Check. Ooh. Check it. Got it. Check it. New York one. There you go. What do you got, Dad? I have WD 1010 PC. What are we doing, Chase? WD-10... We're building an airplane. That's right. PC. 10-10 PC. Check. Check, okay. Now, Control column. Yep. There are no part numbers on this, but these are in the description. These would be steps. I have step, step, step mounting brackets. D this would be step, step. Okay, WD0007. Yeah, they, they don't have stickers on them, but that's uh, what these definitely are. Steps. Yep, steps. Yep. And there is a left and a right, yep. because you can tell by the airfoil shape mm -hmm. on the step itself. That's where you put your foot on. That's where you put your foot on. You get up on the plane. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about this? What are your, cool. Chase, what are your thoughts on building an airplane? I think it's going to be, like, really, really cool. Yeah? What's one of the first places that we should go when the airplane is all done? Probably the beach. Probably the beach. So that it's a microphone. So the video can hear you. Yeah. The beach? What are we going to do at the beach? Probably gonna, we're going to get a starfish. A starfish? That's, Ooh. mommy said we can get a starfish that's dead. <laughs> That'll smell lovely flying back home. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in uh, my... We're going to put it in your room? Bucket over the lair. <laughs> and I don't know that makes any better than it. Yeah, put it in a baggie. Put it in a baggie? Okay. Um, what else are we going to do? Walk in the ocean, probably swim. Yeah. And make sand castles. Sand castles, that'll be fun. What's another thing? You forgot something you've been talking about for quite some time. What do they have at the beach? Shells! That's right! Are we going to collect shells? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you got? Okay. Daddy, what do you, how do you get the information on building an airplane? Oh, what a great question, Chase. Um, there is a lot of different ways that you can learn about building an airplane. There, you can call Vans Aircraft directly if you have questions. Uh, there's a lot of popular builder forums and websites that people talk about it. The FAA, which is the Federal Aviation Administration, they actually put out some advisory circulars. And probably one of the best ways of learning about building an airplane is your local EAA chapter. That is a chapter of other people that build aircraft, so they got a lot of experience there and people that have built them before, people that are professional mechanics. So. You can find the help that you need in a lot of different places. Good. Um, like, do you get this stuff from video, or did you, like, just get a pack with instructions? Oh, yeah, that's another good question. So the company does send some instructions, uh, and they're really, really good instructions. Daddy has actually tried to build another airplane before from scratch, and it was really hard. So that's a great thing about about bands is that they have really good instructions. But if ever you got a question, uh, Daddy knows, Daddy and Mommy know a lot of different builders. So we, you know, call each other, we text each other, send photos, that sort of stuff. So, um, so there's lots of places to find help. Okay. What's your favorite about building or flying an airplane? Oh, which do I like more? No, what's your favorite part of each? Oh, favorite part of each. Um, with building, I definitely like the mechanical part of it. You know, daddy doesn't get to do that all day long at work. So it's something that I've always enjoyed doing and building things and, you know, understanding how things work. Uh, so, so I really like that part of it most. I like too that it's a lot of little tiny parts that turns into a really cool thing at the end. So for flying, I absolutely love getting to go somewhere and travel, you know, whenever we want. So I would say that that's probably called the freedom of it.
next level. 